Hello friends and welcome to this video tutorial. In this video tutorial we are going to do the thermal analysis of composite wall using ANSYS workbench. The composite wall is composed of the three different layers of material having the different thermal conductivity. One end having the temperature as a 20 degree Celsius and at the other end having the temperature at 800 degree Celsius and 25 watt per meter square per degree Celsius. So the length is given for these three different material. So we are going to analyze the steady state temperature distribution using the ANSYS workbench. The analytical solution of uh, this composite wall is the temperature at these four different location is 304.76 at this end then 119.5 degree Celsius at these locations then 57.2 and 20 degrees Celsius and the heat flux will be get as a 12400.6 watt per meter square. So let's analyze this using the ANSYS workbench. For this you have to press the start key and then type for the workbench. Then click on this workbench 2022 R1. You may having the different version. It takes some time to load. Now you get this ANSYS workbench window. From this analysis system double click on this steady state thermal analysis. The analysis system is get loaded in the project schematic. You can also able to change this name. Initially we have to define the material different materials having the three different thermal conductivity so we are going to define the material for this right click on engineering data and click on edit so this engineering data file will be get loaded you can select the available material from this ANSYS library or you may click to add the new material so here we are going to add the new material so double click on it give the name you may give any name uh, so I am going to give the name as a, a then click on enter after that you have to define the thermal conductivity properties. So the different material having <coughs> three different conductivities as 20 watt per meter per degree Celsius then 30 and 50. So let's define th these three different materials. So here click on isotropic thermal conductivity double click then here the isotropic thermal conductivity you can define the value and unit. So unit is given in same watt per meter per degree Celsius. So type here 20 hit the enter key. Now to define the another material just right click on this A material which we have defined and click on duplicate. Again same thermal conductivity you have to only change here. The next value is 30. Hit the enter key. Again right click on the A material. Again make duplicate and change the thermal conductivity to 50. So here three materials are defined. One is having 20 thermal conductivity. Second is having 30 and third one is having a 50. Now close this engineering data. Now for the geometry we are going to analyze this geometry as a 2D analysis. So for this right click on geometry click on properties. In analysis type instead of 3D you have to select as a 2D. You may solve it as a 3D also no issue but we are going to solve it as a 2D analysis. So select 2D now click close this and then Again right click on the geometry and select the new space claim geometry. If you are familiar with the design modeler you can also able to create the model in design modeler also. I am going to create the model of that composite wall using the space claim geometry. So right click and select the new space claim geometry. It shows it starting a space claim also it, it takes some time to load the space claim so wait for that. Okay. Now you can be able to see the ready message here and the space claim window will be appear. So click on this. As the length is given in meter so we are going to change the units. For this click on this file option then space claim option. A new window will be appear. From this new window click on the units then length select as a meter. Click on OK. Now we are going to create the model of this uh, composite wall as we have selected the 2D analysis so it is required to only the create the surfaces. So first click on this new sketch plane select Z axis so it will be able to select you the XY plane click on this Z axis and click on the plan view. So XY plane will be get selected here we are going to create the surfaces of this composite wall the length of these surfaces are given as 0.3 then 0.15 and 0.15. The height is not mentioned here. You may take the height appropriately no issue. 
for any height you will be get the same results so let's start to create the three different rectangles having the different lengths so click on rectangle then start from the center point move your cursor to the right hand side now highlighted dimensions we have to mention as a point 3 don't hit the enter key press the tab key so it will switch the dimensions so you can be able to now provide the height as a dimension so we are going to provide the height as a 0.5 mm and then click enter key so this rectangle is get created now click on the end sketching here we are not going to add the thickness as this pull command is activated but we are not going to provide the thickness because we are creating it as a 2d surface so click on escape to create the another two rectangles again you have to click on this sketch mode select this surface then click on this plan next select rectangle start from the end point of the rectangle move your cursor to the right hand side again provide the length as a 0.15 press the tab key and height as again same as a 0.5 hit the enter key click on end sketch editing so this again second surface is created click on escape to create the third surface again same procedure click sketch mode select the surface click on plan view select rectangle start from the end point again provide the length as a 0.15 press tab key and height as a 0.5 hit the enter key again click on end sketch mode you will be able to see the three surfaces for the three different materials again click on escape save this file so click on file save you may give any name i am going to save it on desktop with the name as a wall then click on save and close this space claim window for the geometry you may get directly the right tick if the right tick is not appear then you have to right click then click on import geometry and browse for the saved file so click on here desktop i have saved it with the name as a wall click on open now you will be get the right tick for the geometry now to assign the materials and to do the analysis double click on model so again it shows as a starting mechanical window so wait for some time this new mechanical window is appear still wait for few minutes now you can be able to see this composite wall on your screen if it is not visible you can click on the geometry to see these three composite walls if you click on this plus icon you can see that the three different surfaces are created we are going to assign the material so click on this first surface also this uh, software always need all the three dimensional data we have created only the surface so the third dimensions as a thickness you can also able to add by default it is take as a point uh, 1 mm thickness you may change again we are going to appropriately apply the thickness as a point 0.1 mm for all the three surfaces so in thickness we are going to provide point 0.1 mm and the material we are going to change so you can see this first slab is selected it having the material is defined as a by name a so i am going to select a so it will be added now select the second surface it will second surface will be get selected again add the thickness as 0.1 and material should be changed to a2 now again select the third surface for this again provide the thickness as a 0.1 hit the enter key then select the material and assign the material as a a3 so the three different materials will be added now we are going to create the mesh so right click on mesh and click on generate default mesh will be get generated the mesh size is not uniform so you can also able to apply the face meshing so right click on mesh again insert and click on the face meshing select all these three faces by pressing the control key click here apply and then again right click and update now you can see a uniform mesh is applied due to the face meshing next we are going to apply the boundary conditions so right click on this steady state thermal insert temperature the one end is fixed having the temperature as a 20 degree celsius so we are going to select the edge so click here the edge selection option select the end edge 
click on apply and provide the temperature as 20 hit the enter key next we are going to apply the convection properties so again let click on steady state thermal insert and convection for this again select this edge click on apply provide the coefficient value as a 25 which is provided in problem statement and temperature as a 800 so click here write 25 enter and temperature provided as a 800 degree celsius so all the boundary conditions are applied and whatever the solution you require you can add it by clicking on the solution right click insert thermal temperature we are going to check the temperature at these different locations also we are going to check the total heat flux then again right click and solve so it will take some time to solve the problem and you will be able to see the result now the problem is solved you able to see the right tick here so click on temperature the maximum temperature is 304 and minimum temperature is 20 and the other temperatures are given here so you can see that the same result we have obtained the maximum temperature is 304 minimum temperature is 20 the middle temperature is 57 and 119 and the heat flux is 12400 now let's check the heat flux it is 12380 which is again approximately the same temperature also if i click on the temperature and run the animation you can be able to check the variation of temperature now let's stop this you can also change these contours by clicking on this contour option in display mode if you want to see the smooth contours only you can be able to see the smooth contours for the temperature variations again if you only want to see the iso lines you can see that up to this point the temperature is 304 second line 273 and so on similar fashion if you want to see only the solid fill you can be able to see the solid fills so click on the smooth contours or the contour bands as per your convenience now click on this total heat flux here also you can be able to change the vector display by clicking on these vectors you can see the lines also you can see the uniform lines you can be able to see the solid forms also by clicking on this you can change in isometric as the thickness we have added so in isometric view also you can be able to see the vectors display and the contours also now as we know that we have given the temperature at this different location to check the temperature at the proper locations you can also able to add the path so if i click on temperature this z axis so it will be seen in the front view so the maximum temperature minimum temperature and we also interested to check the temperature at the end of each wall so for this purpose we are going to add the path so right click on this model insert and then construction geometry and path so this path window is appearing here one and two locations you can be able to see you can define the location i am going to define the location at the center point of this wall so x coordinate is same as a zero the y coordinates we have provided the height as a 0 0.5 so the y coordinates it half of that that is 0 0.25 hit the enter key so this first point will be located now to locate the second point that is the end point again the x coordinates will be the total length that is a 0.6 and y coordinates is again same that is a 0.25 so hit the enter key you can be able to see the path at this path we are going to check the temperature variation so to see the temperature variation again right click on solution again insert thermal and temperature and for this temperature to for this scoping method instead of geometry selection we are going to select as the path and the path is we have created uh, simply click and select as a path and then again right click and evaluate all results to check the temperature now click on this temperature tool and drag this graph window somewhat so you can be able to see the temperature variation the maximum temperature minimum temperature at the locations you can check the temperature uh, by checking the lengths also so at 0 meter that is at the starting point the value is 305 now at this 0.3 mm so drag it down click on 0.3 so its value is 119 which is again same as the analytical solution and at 
four five the value is fifty seven so let's check again drag this click on point forty five so you can able to see the fifty seven point one four one the same values you will be get and this value is same along the height so whatever the height you have considered there is a no issue you will be get the all values is a same along that line so in this way you can be able to solve this steady state thermal analysis considering a 2d analysis you may also able to create or solve the problem using 3d analysis also there is a no issue same results you will be able to get so i hope you enjoy this video and you will be able to solve such types of problems using ansys workbench thank you for watching have a nice day